Uh, we got TSM's special. And of course, the wonderful daydreaming here. I wanted to like give time for the cheers for each yeah. player, and then no one went for it. <laughs> You're not popular Good job, special. Chris. You only support player. No one cares. I know. So, okay. play. <laughs> <laughs> the groans from the audience. Really All right. Rude. Right I'm there. sorry. I just yeah. felt like being mean today. I don't know what happened. Yeah. It must be from you. Um, okay. <laughs> so, Thresh, tell me. He's the most popular support so far this split. Why you guys like Thresh so much? He makes big plays, and you can get a lot of kills. And Honestly, I think the other sports are, are Leona and Annie are really, they're also really good, but that just edges them out a little bit by having more pressure early on. Mm -hmm. How about you? Um, Thresh just kind of does everything. Like, he peels, he pokes, he hard engages, and there's just not a single ability he has that isn't high impact. Like, every single ability he has is super high impact. So, he's pretty much the god support. Nice. Yeah, and as far as when you're kind of prioritizing a champion select, we see obviously he's highly picked. How do you know when to pick Thresh over a mid laner or a jungler? Or like, how is your team prioritizing that as a support? That really depends on the team. Mm -hmm. um, different teams prioritize differently. There are some teams that will always pick Thresh if it's up. There's some teams that would like to even perhaps ban it or just let them have it. It's just it's one of those things that you see, what picks do you guys want on your team? What picks would be better? And would Thresh be good with the team comp? Stuff like that. Yeah, pretty much what Special said. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Thresh pretty works in like any team comp, and it mm. just really depends on which team it prioritizes what. So if you really want Thresh, then you're either going to first pick it, or if you don't want it, you're going to ban it. <laughs> so I actually want to press you on that, on that a little bit, because I feel like, I, I know you guys mentioned he has hard engage, but like compared to like Flash Tibbers or like Solar Flare, like those seem like huge team fight engages. Is there anything you have to work around when you are playing Thresh, or do you really have all that power still? Um, you definitely can't just like flash ult to initiate as Thresh, but um, that's definitely why you would probably want to take a support like Annie or Leona over Thresh when you want to go for that hard engage and not have to worry about just like only having your engage on your jungler. What's so um, yeah, but Thresh, honestly, like he he pretty much just does that all too, if you have flash up. So you can do like a flash hook or something, but yeah, I don't know. Thresh is just way too good. <laughs> yeah. But today we actually have a matchup between you two playing against each other. Um, what have you done to prepare for this matchup, X Special? Um, not, nothing really uh, specifically. It's just uh, picks and bans, we always prepare for each. I mean, <laughs> we don't need to prepare against each specific team in terms of uh, like team comps and whatnot. We prepare just picks right. and bans, and we prepare our it's own It's a strategy. general preparation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and we aren't underestimating coast. We know, you know, they're 2-0, they're pretty hot right now. I mean, we're 11-0, but that's not the point. Um, <laughs> and we're definitely looking really strong. So we can't underestimate, but at the same time, we're not going to over, you know, overhype these guys. Like, they're good, but hopefully we show that we're better. Yeah, and I mean, Daydreaming, you guys did go on a 2-0 winning streak last week. How much did those wins mean to you coming into this week? Um, they mean nothing, uh, honestly. Right. So we pretty much just are focusing on these two matches only. Like, regardless if we won last week, we're just going into this week as prepared as we possibly can, and hopefully we can pull out some more wins. Cool. And of course, you're uh, standing in the way of TSM's road to a 13 and zero winning streak. You gonna break it for them? Um, I'd like I'd like to think so, but yeah. I mean, time will tell. It's actually an interesting question, X Special. Knowing that you guys are on that 11 game winning streak, does it add any extra pressure to the team as opposed to just being another game? No. Honestly, I kind of forgot that we're 11-0 until uh, a couple of days ago when people kept reminding me. But, <laughs> I mean, honestly, we've just been sort of playing our game, been playing well, and we're just looking forward to doing well. I mean, we don't really care about uh, this, like going, you know, whatever score. Mm -hmm. We really care about playoffs. We really care about uh, Summer Split. We really care about Worlds. All that stuff. Uh, spring Split is really just one obstacle that we have to overcome, and mm -hmm. it's not even the biggest one. All right, we'll see if you guys can do it. Of course, you're 11 and 1. Timo did make sure that was the case here. Now, we want to get your thoughts, of course, on our Twitter question of the day. We're asking our audience, which North American LCS AD carry would you want to play support for and why? Now, especially earlier, you said you'd do a queue with Vasily, but as far as North American LCS players go, um, LCS players go, um, who would it be outside of Wild Turtle? I mean, I think people are going to expect this, but it's double if from CLG. I mean, he's a really solid player. People always, you know, they try, some people overhype him, some people under, you know, underrate him, but he's actually a really good player. Um, he brings a lot to the bot lane. Like, as a laner, um, I always play against him. I mean, obviously, but I see what he does really well, and I can tell. Uh, I can tell what he's doing in the lane. I can tell the impact he has. And even if he's not, like, playing really well, I can tell the way he's manipulating the lane, the mechanics he has. This is very top tier, and I think that's the best thing about him. Like, I always said this, is, is his laning. 
It's like pretty much the best among AD carries in NA. Cool. Daydreaming? Um, I'd have to go with Cutie Pie just because Cutie Pie is hilarious and he's also a great player, so I think mm -hmm. I'd never be bored playing with him. <laughs> yeah. And as his right. name speaks, very attractive man as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't you can't look past that one, guys. Uh, yeah. So, guys, thank you very much. Um, and, of course, we look forward to your game today. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you, guys. You. And for those of you at home, send us your answers for that Twitter question, at LLD Sports. Use the hashtag LCS. And make sure to dot your I's and cross your T's, because we'll be reading the best responses later in the show. And we've got to take a quick break. But when we come back, we're going to kick off the day with Dignitas looking to dig their way out of a six-game hole when they face off against evil geniuses. North